Welcome, 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 welcome. Hello, everyone. Um, hello, LTA. Nice to have Hi, you guys. With us. Good to see you. Mm -hmm. um, yours, okay. Gerard, I believe you're muted, sir. All right. Two minutes in. I think uh, we can start, even if one, two. Is Hubsy coming? No. I don't believe so. Um, right. Time zone and internet connectivity have counted him out. Yes! How do we do we learn? It's like party time. It's like, yeah, you guys not here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it is being recorded. Yeah. We will see it. That's fine. Oh. Honestly, someday this will all come back to us. And they say, look, you said this then. And it's like, oh, uh, mm. you use the S word. It's like, oh. <laughs> okay. So um, before the call starts, first of all, hello, everyone. Glad to have you here. Welcome to the August edition of our community call. Um, on this call, we'll have the usual people, as you can see, in addition to members of the LTA Labs team. Um, who are our pa partners. If you remember, we announced that a few months back. So they will be um, demoing an app uh, and presenting themselves. It will be smiling. And before we properly start the call, um, Luke here is just going to give us an update on behalf of our CEO. Uh, so this is going to be a business and sort of a listing update. Yeah, sure. Let's go, yeah. So I'm just going to have to interject and just say, Luke, what you look fantastic. What is you are, you've done it. I, I, I don't know what's going on here, but I love it. Okay, go for it. That's it. A few weeks off, so I just thought I'd just let give the face a rest. That's it. Um, so, yeah, it's not often I get to steal the CEO's thunder, but uh, here we go. So these are Hugo's words written to you. Um, as you will be aware, we are working towards our native listing. In our roadmap, we have this planned for Q3 of this year. And I am pleased on Hugo's behalf to confirm that we have now signed a contract with an exchange to, to list native minima, and we are in the process of confirming at least one additional exchange uh, to add to the next at launch. We are finalizing the technical integrations required with the exchanges. Uh, and so then depending on the timings for this, plus carefully considering the market conditions, we'll be looking to launch either at the end of Q3 or in the very earliest part of Q4 of this year. In preparation for our native listing, uh, having listened to our community and in consultation with our largest holders and backers, we have worked to reduce the circulating supply compared to our pre-TGE tokenomics, and we will be making an official announcement about this in the next few weeks. So a short tweet on this occasion, um, and any questions, obviously, that would be for uh, Hugo to answer. You're welcome to put them into the stage questions channel on discord and uh we'll get him to answer those and come back to you uh but in the meantime that's it for that uh, that section yeah thank you luke um and thank you hugo indirectly um so quickly before we start off the call as many of you uh, are aware <laughs> i hope uh we've got a task well we've got two tasks ongoing so one of them is actually just attending this call so at a random point in this call i'm going to be uh, taking a, a snapshot, a picture of the people that are attending. And those people, 25% um, of them are going to be selected to win a prize of native minimum. So that's just an incentive to keep you guys around in case some of you want to leave earlier than expected. Um, aside from that, um, well... It's simple, really. We're going to have Luke start off the call, and he's going to go over so the tokenomics changes that have been mentioned in uh, Hugo's update, our CEO's update. And he's also going to be going over another growth campaign uh, that's going to be debuting in the next few weeks. Then after Luke, we're going to have Gerard from LTA and his team. So they're going to present themselves. Um, they're going to present LTA Labs, and they're going to be demoing their mini app uh, to us. Uh, following that, we'll have Euro Buddha, who will be giving us a mini farm and Uniswap update. And to top it all off, before Spartacus Rex, we will have Jasmine go over our new grants page on the build, web build website and give us some additional information on the ETH wallet mini dApp 
mini swap and the safe that were released a few weeks ago. So without further ado, Luke, again, your floor. Cheers, Neo. Uh, so in the coming days and weeks, you're going to see a lot of updated documentation and news coming from the team, uh, particularly around the, the value of Minima uh, and the updated tokenomics, as we already kind of touched upon, uh, as we approach the listing of native Minima. Um, and of course, you will uh, you will learn about who we're going to be listing native with. Uh, we're also going to be dropping some detail on something so big, so unique, no other blockchain has achieved it. We will be the first, and it will change the landscape, I believe, of uh, what it means to run blockchain technology for your average consumer. No one who considers themselves a competitor of Minima will have an answer to it. Uh, we have worked so hard to get to this point, and we are itching to make that reveal to you. So, and this is all going to be coming in the coming like, two, three weeks. So all of this will form part of uh, a wider growth campaign designed to bring excitement and new awareness of Minima in industries and in areas of the world where we have not reached yet, and will come with new opportunities to participate in, uh, well, for you as a community to participate and earn rewards. We're also looking ahead to Token 2049 in Singapore, where we intend to make a splash, a perfect opportunity for a blockchain working in part in automotive and motorsport as the Formula One circus will be in town at the same time. So look out for this and uh, link up to news there. And so this new positioning, tokenomics and attention will put us in a perfect position as we move into this native not long to go now. Cheers, Neo. I just forgot I was on mute. Thank you, uh, Barry. Thank you, Luke. Um, so, right. So um, I'm honestly looking forward to that update, especially tokenomics. I think a lot of you will enjoy it. Um, and I hope the growth campaign will prove to be very efficient from what I've been told. Um, now, going forward, Gerard and LTA, you guys have the floor to speak about yourselves and present to us what you've been working on the past few months. Thank you very much, Neo. So it's, it's a pleasure to be here this time on the other side, because typically I attended being one of the icons from the attendees. Um, it was maybe six or eight months ago where we signed this agreement with Minima. Uh, at LTA Labs, uh, today we have with me Jordi, uh, which you can see here with the same polo as me, and myself, Gerard. We are the co-founders of LTA Labs, and, and we are based in Barcelona, in Spain. So basically, uh, we, we saw a huge potential with Minima, and the unique features that Minima brings to the table of blockchain and how this can help people all over the place, around the world, to be a bit more autonomous and manage their finance and their assets, etc. Uh, is one of the key things that, that we love since the beginning. I've been in an early investor in Minima since 2021, I believe. So I've been in all the processes with different, in the, in the good times, in the not so good times, now again, good times. So I know pretty well the, the project and we have been in contact with the, with Minima teams, uh, from Paddy to Hugo to Adam to Richard uh, to look for, 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 for many, many years, okay? So that's just for you to give you a, a bit of context. So when we created LTA Labs, we had different ideas. And one thing that we saw is that we needed to bring to the table a simple solution for people to be able to back up their wallets, their crypto wallets. So all the available tools that you are using now uh, there, there are always, always, let's say, a trade-off between usability and security. If you want to make something very secure, you are, you have, you, you, you keep a wallet in full self-custody, which is what I prefer personally. So only myself have access to that wallet. But the problem is that I need to either put a strong password to do a backup in minima, or I need to write down in a piece of paper my seed phrase. So it's not, it's not easy. I mean, I can manage it, but if I think about my sister, who is not in, in the technical side, I, I am not thinking in my mother, but just people of my age that, that are not so techy, it's not easy. It, it, it's, a, it, it's not frictionless. It's a barrier for adoption, right? So Jordi, who is an expert in cryptography, which has more than 
50 scientific papers on, on advanced cryptography. When nobody knew about homomorphic encryption, he was implementing homomorphic encryption in internet voting uh, protocol. So he's one of the, the very well-known experts in the world on cryptography. We came across a solution that this is what we want to show today to you, which we baptize a secrets vault, which allows in a simple way to protect your secrets. Imagine your seed phrase using an image, an image that you can openly share. You can place it on your social media if you want. And if you are in need in the future to recover your secret, let's say your minima seed phrase or private key, etc., you will basically need your image to recover that. And you can forget about writing down on papers, the seed phrases and stuff like that. Okay, so this is a bit what we bring to you today uh, to show it uh, in a demo that Jordi will run later. And this, we have built this in different flavors. One of the flavors is a mini dap. And here I need to thank, I think Joshua is in this call. So I need to thank Joshua uh, because he was instrumental in, in letting us understand and get into the details of how to make this work uh, with the minima, within the minima uh, ecosystem. So again, Joshua, thanks for, for your patience with us and for your help. <laughs> You have questions. I guess that later there will be some question and answer. So drop the, the questions uh, as usual and, and we'll try to address them. So now let me share you just four slides. So let me see if I can share my screen. And then Jordi will show you the real the real mini app working and, 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 and then you can you can it's it's available eh? so you can play with it at any moment. Let me see if I can share my screen. Okay. I hope that you, somebody from the process, yeah. can you go? Okay, good. It's good. good. Great. So as, as we mentioned, use an image. You don't need to use a piece of paper. You don't need to use a password. Okay. This is the concept or the, the key essence of Secrets Vault. Then can I progress? Okay. So at the end, all this is based on advanced cryptography. Here, Jordi can respond your questions later about what type of cryptography we are using, but at the end, we are combining different techniques to achieve what I told you in a very secure, but in a very easy way to safeguard your more sensitive information using an image, an image that you can share openly. One important thing is that regardless, you will see the tool and you will see the mini app. We never, never, ever can have access to your secret information. We lost Gerard. Got the good bit. You're just telling us the good stuff. <laughs> it's okay. We'll wait for him to catch up a bit. Oh, I can't hear him. We've lost the audio, my friend. <laughs> it's okay, we've got time. I don't think he knows we can't hear him. Yeah, yeah, and sending message to him, but I don't know if he... Win is he on Windows? Oh, I, think, Windows. I think he noticed. Oh. No, we can't hear you, Gerard. No, we hear. Live demos, it's like, ah, they do it on purpose, honestly. They always do it on purpose. Whenever it works, 100% of the time, then you have to do a live demo, it doesn't work. That's fine. Gerard, you can just, you can try joining the call again or uh, restarting your Discord. You touched something on the key, something on the keyboard affected the vault. Oh, 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 oh. okay. Hold on, I have to find him again in the audience. Give me a second. Okay. There we go. Sorry, I was You're wrong. Yeah. I was not hear you. That. I, yeah, no, you were not. I was doing the best pitch of my life, and you were <laughs> not. That was it. <laughs> you had us. We yours. So <laughs> where, where, where I was? <laughs> Just on the second slide. We never, we never uh, 
we never, ever, ever, ever something, and then it stopped. <laughs> and never, <laughs> we never listened. Never, to never what? <laughs> okay. Sorry for that. No. It's fine. We're back. Okay, we got you. Okay. Yep. So I wanted to stress this, if you can see my screen. Yep. We will never ever been able to see your secret, your sensitive information, not your image. Everything runs on your device. Maybe your mini app, maybe your phone, your computer. So everything you use, the image you provide to protect your secret and the secret itself will never reach us. We can never see that. We will never be able to access it. It's part of the cryptographic protocol and therefore is is highly secure and highly in private. So, so you are the only one that can see that. Okay, you have full control. It's still there. You can hear me? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Just checking every, every 30 seconds, I will check. So, um, as you can imagine, security is of essence for this, uh, for this tool, for this kind of solution, right? And here is where I bring Jordi, because Jordi is, as I mentioned before, a worldwide recognized cryptographic expert with more than 50 papers in scientific publications, more than 45 patents on this field. Uh, Jordi and myself, just for giving you some background, uh, come from an internet voting company. We were together 15 years, and we were the first to bring a solution to the complexities of allowing people to safely and securely vote from the internet. And, and in 2008, Jordi was already working with homomorphic encryption, zero knowledge proofs, Shamiri schemes from 2001. So he, you know, words that maybe you hear today as something new, Jordi was already doing that 15 years ago. Okay. So just key security features. Sensitive information never, never leaves your users, your device, sorry. So it always stays on your side. You can share copy the image you use to protect your secret anywhere. You can post it on your X account, Instagram, do 20 copies on your different Google Drives, etc. no problem. All these mechanisms works without delegating the control of your wallet. You keep the full, full self-custody of your wallet. Even as you will see in the demo, you have options to do some social login, etc. It's not like other wallets where you are giving away part of your custody. Here, you are the only ones that keep access to your wallet. We will never be able to do that. And almost all the, the, the well, it's not 100% of the solution done in JavaScript, but the key cryptographic protocol is done in JavaScript. So the ones that you that are techies, and many of you, I guess, are techies, you know that that means that you can access the code and check it. So you can validate that what we are claiming is working as we say. Okay, so full transparency. This is what we have implemented now. We are working on an additional security measures here that, that will come in the next version because now we are in an alpha version. Uh, the cryptographic protocol is being reviewed by two group of two university experts as we talk now. Um, also, we are working or in house or with a third party to do a, a distributed multi party computation for uh, the, a way. Well, we are getting into very two technical maybe considerations here that Jordi will explain later if, if somebody has more questions. But there is multi party computation element here, and, 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 and in the few, future releases, we will be able to, to share this with wallet providers and other partners. Before we launch the commercial version in Q4, there will be a full audit by a third party, as you can expect. And also one of the things is that Minima, we are we are checking with Minima how we can do it is how we can offer a more decentralized storage uh, so it's fully available in any situation, even if Jordi and myself are hit by a bus tomorrow. Still there, myself? Okay. Yeah. You good. You're still there. I hope you don't get hit by a bus tomorrow. Okay. Me too. <laughs> me, me. I, I hope the same. Thank you. <laughs> and now the demo. Just for you to know, the product is in alpha version. So we are running an incentivized testing program. All of you 
can join, can test. We have set up a daily program so you can do activities, you get points, and then you will get that point will be converted in a few months into tokens and other awards, right? So we encourage you to join us. And also in a few weeks, we'll be able to communicate that there will be some type of joint testing activity with Minima. So people uh, joining this program will also be able to get not just our tokens, but also tokens from Minima and from other partners. So again, I, I encourage you to join, test it. It takes a few minutes and report your findings because it helps all of us to, to improve the product. Okay, so that's all from my side. I'd like to have some questions later. Then I, I, I give the stage to, to Jordi. Thanks for your time. Okay, thanks, Gerard. Then I, okay, I can share my screen. And now it's time of the demo. Okay. And you see now I'm connecting. Okay. Okay, in this demo, what I'm showing you, uh, what, what, uh, what I'm using in this demo, I'm connecting to a, a Minima node, okay? Uh, so we have a Minima, a Minima node, I connect them remotely, um, just only to do the demo, uh, but you can also use your um, mobile uh, phone with your Android app if you want to, to perform what we are going to do now, okay? So one thing that we did here, it's a yacht in the node, the Secrets Ball uh, Mini app that is here. Uh, one important thing when you are doing the demo for doing the, these are some things that we are, uh, since the, that, are, that we're experiencing about how to implement mini dApps in a, for, for Minima. In our case, since what we are going to do is a, a visual backup of the seed phrase of the, of the wallet. Uh, one important thing is that uh, Secrets Vault uh, needs to have right mode, okay? Uh, why? Because you need to access the seeds freight. If you don't have this right mode, then uh, the application will uh, remind you that you need this. Uh, otherwise, it's not possible to, to implement a backup of the seed phrase. But when you start a uh, secret ball, then the first thing that you have is you, you enter in a screen that, uh, that we need first to identify you. One important part, we have here two pieces. Uh, that, that we are using for protecting your seed phrase. One thing is like a secret sharing uh, scheme, what we are using here. One part is something that is decided by the same user, that is they, they choose an image. Uh, and this image is where we are hiding your secret. And this image, uh, as Gerard mentioned, is never leaving your device. So you choose your, your image and you decide, okay, I'm going to hide this image. As part of the protocol that we are implementing, uh, what we are doing is similar to steganography, but with a difference. We are not going to manipulate the image. So uh, this provides uh, an extra layer of security because steganography, usually you need to manipulate the image to hide information inside. Uh, and that means that then maybe if you are publishing this image or you are sharing this image, uh, Maybe it's not something that you can perceive uh, by human means that, okay, the image is the same, but using algorithms, maybe you can detect if an image is hiding something or not. In our case, we are using the original image. We are not manipulating the image, so nobody can detect if this image has been used or not for hiding a secret. So you can openly share it, uh, but nobody can detect. If this is an image because you are sharing this uh, by WhatsApp with your friends saying, okay, here I'm, I'm on vacation and I'm taking this image uh, of this place, but nobody knows that you're using this image for uh, hiding a secret, or even you can use an image that you already have, or you can use the image of a third party, someone else that is not yours, because at the end you are not going to manipulate this image. So, so this is important, uh, that, that way then, uh, Detecting if an image is used or not for hiding information, it's not possible because it's the original one. So you have millions, hundreds, well, any image in the world <laughs> can be used to share a secret and, uh, and uh, nobody knows. So, but then how you, but then what we are keeping is uh, on custody, it's like a key that is used for detecting, uh, for recovering 
the secret that is hidden in this image. So it's not in this image, but you need some piece that the another share that combining with this image then yeah, allows you to recover the key. So what we are creating is the second share, and this is the part that we are going to custody. Uh, this second share, uh, since you can use with any image in the world, you can generate whatever. So uh, the, there are infinite possibilities. So alone, uh, it's not possible to recover anything unless you know exactly which is the image that you use. Okay. So you have a perfect secret in that case because the combinations are well, millions and millions and millions. Any match is there, okay? So the idea is that uh, using this combination, then you can recover the secret if you know uh, the image that is required. Uh, how we are then uh, protecting the secret, then it's important. The first thing is that you sign in in, the, in our service. For signing in, one thing that we are deciding is that we don't want to uh, keep uh, a database of users that you need to register. So we are allowing any social media login. Also, this is important because uh, in case that you need to recover your secret, then uh, usually it's better that you're using a, a, a username, password, or any login that you already uh, remember. So it's not necessary then to remember which is the login. So you can use something. Uh, in the roadmap, what we are uh, doing is that you can even define different social logins and you can link them to what you want to recover or you can delegate to third party if you want. We don't know because you can create any Google account. We don't know which is uh, behind there, Discord or any other social uh, logins. So it's something that we don't have any trace. The only thing that we know is that you need to log in for, uh, with this account to get access to the secret. So the first step here is that let's use, for instance, Google. In my case, okay, we, since already I have in the in the, in the catch my, my credentials, then I, I log it in with my, my Google credentials. And once I am there, uh, then is when I start to implement the, the, the visual backup on the visual backup of the secret. Everything that I'm showing you is like, uh, this is a browser. This is done uh, internally. We are not uh, sending anything to the server. So it's executed. We are using a uh, single page application technology. So it's everything is JavaScript executed on, on your environment. Okay. Uh, and then when you decide to do this, uh, the, the first step is choose an image. You can take a picture. The, the, these are some things that the, if you start testing, uh, if you want to join this testing program and you start to, to use uh, uh, the, the mini uh, the minimum application and the mini app in your mini can application, there are two ways of using uh, the mini app. One is inside the minima browser, so inside the same environment of the minima node. In that case, then maybe and some limitations that we have is you cannot take a picture because um, you need to uh, get access to the, the camera, but you can open the application in external browser. And then in, in this case, that is the same one that I'm doing here, that if you want, you can take a picture uh, and then use this picture for uh, for protecting the, the secret. Otherwise, you can upload any image that you have in, in your, uh, well, in, in your device that you're using in this case. Uh, in the case of taking a picture, uh, well, no, I don't know if I will take it because now the, okay. Uh, yeah, I yeah, the problem is that since the camera now is uh, on Discord, okay, uh, <laughs> I do not uh, ask for permission, so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's do the, I will upload an image. So I will take an image that they have in my local repository. Let's choose for instance. Okay, well, yeah. I was in our concert of Pearl Jam. I don't know if everybody likes it, but I have, for instance, a picture of this concert. I say, okay, I want to, to use this picture because I remember I have good feelings of with this picture. And then I will remember better this picture rather than uh, 24 random words. <laughs> and then I will use in this image. And now it's, uh, it's when the process is happening. In, in uh, all the magic 
the, the, the cryptographic protocol that is joining steganographic and cryptography at the same time is then taking the picture, uh, taking your seed phrase, uh, that is, that, uh, that the seed phrase is taken from, from Minimal. Everything is happening in, in the same environment. So in your local device. Okay. And then it's calculating how, how we can hide, um, your secret in the image. Of course, depending on the size of the image, it takes more time, less time. And, uh, but usually it takes less than 30 seconds. So, and in this case, what, what we are do, doing is not, we are not manipulating the image as I said before, we, what we are creating is another share that will allow them, uh, combining both things to recover, uh, the, the, the secret that we are hiding inside inside the same image. So, so, the, so the image is one of the parts of a Shamir secret. Exactly. Okay. Uh, it's wow. A, that's the, totally cool. It's not, that's... It's, it's, it's not exactly Shamir, what we are using here. Yeah. Because, something cooler. Yeah. The um, same. Yeah. Something. So, so we, we are mixing those things, but, but at the end it's the same concept. Okay. That, uh, without having the post pieces, one, what we have in one side is not enough for uh, recovering the secret, okay? Uh, the, the difference here is that instead of, uh, in Shamir, what you have is like, a, let's say, points on a two-dimensional uh, place that, that, that you join, in, then you can, you have like two lines, you cross them and you find the point that is your secret. Here, one is the image. So it's a, it's a different concept. So I think that, well, it's taking, uh, what, in my case, I think that I have too many things open at the same time. So, so then you're taking more time with Discord and, uh, to, uh, to, to do the process. So demo effect, sorry. Live demo, live but, uh, demo. Oh, uh, you should to do a live demo. It worked one minute ago. Yeah, now it's not working. <laughs> okay. But it's okay. Responsive. Okay. Wait. Or... <laughs> yeah. Just Jordy, if we we have we have time and we have questions actually, there are questions for you. It's not me to okay go over them. Uh, yeah. Okay, any questions? Uh... Um, I don't know if you have the chat open. Otherwise, I can read them out loud. No, I, so, so what he's asking is: Is there a minimum size of an image you can use? Yeah, well, uh, currently, yes, uh, in the, in this first, uh, version that we have, but, uh, but the protocol supports, uh, any, any size of, of image, not, not in this first version we, we already have in the, the protocol can use any, any size of image, even if it's larger that, uh, sorry, it's smaller than initially the secret that you want, uh, yeah, ideally it should be better if, you, if the size is larger. Oops, I think that I think everything frozen. Yeah. Console. <laughs> <laughs> You're freezing a bit, but we can still uh, hear you. This is. Um, yeah. uh, it's Windows. If, I mean, if it helps, Something. take off your camera, Jordy. Uh, I, I, I don't think that's the problem. I think you need to refresh the page. Yeah, yeah, try again. It again. It, uh, uh, I have too many things open. We one of those people with 500 windows. windows open guys come on you, you're only allowed yeah, yeah. five <laughs> windows open god you've got a lot of things open i can see that dong, 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 yeah, dong. yeah exactly yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the ram's <laughs> gone yeah <laughs> ah, there we go okay uh let me check one thing one one more the, thing. Ex exit the page geordie and, and try again i think it's the best thing yeah Let's try it. Yeah. So does that mean, sorry, just to get a little bit down and dirty, what if you use one pixel image? Would it still work? No. <laughs> no. Okay. No, minimum is, is two. Yeah. Because, well, minimum is two, and then uh, not every uh, image uh, you can use it because uh, you need at least uh, one, one, and one, zero. <laughs> one, one, and one, zero. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> And uh, uh, yeah, I will try again. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait. Or oh, even that. Oh, send feedback. No. 
If you bottle this ability, the fact that somehow, for some reason, quantumly, whenever you try to do something in front of people, it breaks and make money out of it, we'd all be very rich. So <laughs> something, the quantum space has collapsed into, I'm not working now, I was working before, but now that it matters, you know, how does the universe know it matters now? Hmm. Uh, um, there was a there was a question there's a question that I'd like to ask myself actually. Um, so what happens if you if you lose your device on which you have your image? Is there any way of recovering? That's why he um, says you have to upload it. You can send it to WhatsApp and you can re-download it from the WhatsApp yeah, chat. Yeah, right. 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 So the point so is, you, anywhere yeah, you stored it, yeah. anywhere you stored it, you can use the image as your. So you can post it on Facebook and say, "Hey, here, here's me." And then you know you've got the image because it's on Facebook or whatever. Um, yeah. I, think, I think that's right, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The idea here is that, uh, of course, is what you say. If you use uh, your image that you have on your device, uh, it's, it's the same concept that if you are losing the paper that you wrote your seed phrase. The difference here is that uh, the idea of this image is that it's something that is completely uh, transparent. That you can share. You can't yeah, share you the can text file. Way. You can share it. You, you can can't share the text file with your seed phrase. Yeah. Exactly. Your seed phrase, you cannot put it in a public place. And then in case that you need it, you know that, okay, I can go there and take it. Uh, in case that And you frankly, are... you can even think of it as I can upload it to my Google Drive and it doesn't matter because Google won't pinch it. You know, that's how they got the girl who pinched 180,000 Bitcoins from Bitfinex. Yeah, she had a password and a file in Google and Google got it. And it's like, you know, you can't trust Google. But now, if you just upload the image, they're like, hey, it's just an image. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, but even I still have a lot of. Uh... You got like 50 applications open. <laughs> yeah. You got like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got the WhatsApp. You got the WhatsApp main app, with the the actual app that you install. Oh, I only like using the web app. I I can't bring myself to install the 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 default application for WhatsApp. So I will try again. Let's see if uh, now Secret Wall open faster. Yeah, let's try again. Jordi, would it be possible to have a version of the DAP that wasn't didn't require write mode um, and didn't call your seed phrase, but gave you the ability to yeah. manually enter your seed phrase or any yeah. other data? Let, let's say that, uh, well, uh, yeah, we, we have a version that you can, if you don't have the right mode, then, sorry, uh, the right mode enabled, one way for uh, also storing the secret, but in that uh, is uh, if you copy and paste the seed phrase, okay? Uh, we Just to say, to on, a, on a technical note there, what you could do, Jordi, actually, is even if it's in write mode, even if it's in read mode, you can do the vault function and it goes into the pending. And then when it's in the pending, I can go to the pending and I can okay it. And then your mini DAP gets notified with the result of the pending transaction. Sorry, this is a bit technical, but it is possible for you to run this in read mode. And when you run a function in pending, it tells you the function with the output has been successfully run. And then you could do it from there. So you could run it in write, read, write, read mode and just get them to go to pending, accept the transaction in pending, and then it comes back, uh, which would also work if you're... Uh, you know, your node was locked because pending asks you for your password if you are locked, blah, 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 and then you can get the seed phrase from that. So um, there are definitely ways of doing it. I'll, I'll, talk, I'll talk to you about it after this. Okay. Yeah. And let's try again. See if now we'll yeah. go faster. We, we, we are always trying to look for the most simple way for the end user. So yes. When, yes. When we have something integrated. Is click 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 and forget. You don't need to know about details. That's the objective. Sometimes we cannot achieve that. So okay, I will try. Again. I'm rooting for you. Come on, come on, computer. You can do this. Even though he's got 500 applications running. Well, uh, I'm leaving. Uh, <laughs> I think Pearl Jam might be the issue here, guys. Uh, uh, yeah, how big is that? You don't know how big that image is. Maybe that image is like 400. Wait, let's have a look at it. It doesn't tell you the width and the height. Is that a big image or a small image? Okay. Oh. No matter. Sorry. Let's try it. So let's see. Here we go. Now. Go. I've started the timer. <laughs> but the, but the, the idea is this one. That, uh, that uh, at the end, uh, with this image, then uh, you can put it in a public place, and then for recovering your secret, uh, you can go there, take it, 
I don't know, maybe in Instagram or whatever, uh, you, you can have it, uh, uh, have it as a, or, or even you, you can share with someone that you, that you say, okay, and uh, this is the image of, uh, of, or even you can use, uh, for instance, the image from a third party that, that you remember. Uh, and when you need it to say, okay, can you share me again the image where, when we went to this uh, trip and, and he can send the image to you and, and he don't know that you are using this image for, uh, for hiding the, the secret. So let's try again. Otherwise what I'm going to do is I, I will uh, close the browser. Jordi, because we are, I guess we are running out of time. Maybe maybe we can show not the mini app because it's very similar to the portal and they can get the concept. Uh, yeah. It's the same. The, the user interface is the same. Yeah. I'm going to close this. I will try now with mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I think I think there are some questions that are Open up maybe while this we, we can respond and, and we miss something someone just let us know. Um, the last one I am aware is somebody is asking about the impact of uh, programs impacting the quality of the images. So social media yeah. uh, compacting the image, doing that things. Yes, it's a great question. And this is something that we already are covering because um, we assume that if I share my image through Telegram and then somebody posts it on X, uh, there is some compression, so the, the reduction of quality is something that we're already covering and, and, and we should be able to recover the secret using the image that has been modified by the social media. So we have obviously some threshold, but it's a big threshold. We have been testing with many types of compression, etc., and so far we have excellent results. So that's part of the alpha version. If you want to try to do the worst things to the images you can imagine and see if you can recover the secret, that is welcome. But we have done very nasty things to the images and we have been able to recover secrets. Yeah. Um, some, someone would like to know how, on a technical level, how you manage to um, store the data on the image cryptographically. Like he doesn't store the data the hood. He uses the okay, image so as one of them. He uses the he image as the key. Image. The image exactly. is a key that he mixes with another one, and that's what turns into the private key, which is very cool. I think the idea of being able to share a secret without giving away the secret, that's frankly, must be something to do with your homomorphic stuff. You know what I mean? You're sharing something without actually giving away what the thing that you're sharing is. It's a very, very cool idea. I think that's a really good one. You know? In order to extract the secret from the image, you need another key? You need them. Exactly. You send them the image. You, they send you something, and then you can do it. So your half yeah. of the secret is the image. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. But you must get something from LTI Labs to unlock it. Exactly. So so the idea is that uh, this is the reason that we have this social login. What we are uh, just custodying is it's one share of, of what you need. With, with this part, uh, it's, well, the, the information that we have is like zero because the possibilities of using this on any image that exists in the world, it's, uh, well, uh, it, and, and the problem is, I don't know which image is. Uh, it, it can be yours, maybe it's in your, bro, uh, in your computer or not, or even if not yours, it's still storing in another computer. So the idea is we have this shirt. And then when, when the user needs to recover the key, it just only log in again and ask for, okay, one, that you give me this part. There, there are another thing here that is part of the cryptographic protocol. Uh, you need to, we, we are not just only if someone has your credential, your Google credentials can ask us for uh, sending back this key that is used or this second shirt that is used for, for recovering the, 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 the seed phrase. Uh, what we ask is, okay, uh, give me a proof that you have the image. So, so uh, an attacker, uh, if if wants to recover what we have and need to make a, a zero knowledge proof because we don't know the image, but he need to prove that knows the image without us knowing which is the image, and it's also yeah. part of the protocol that we implemented. So, so we are not Enough. only giving this information to the first one that uh, that maybe has access to your credentials, uh, who asks for this information needs also to prove that knows which is the image. 
in a way that is zero knowledge because we don't know which is the image. But and can, can I ask how much how much data can you store in the secret? Uh, how big can the secret be? Yeah, well, no, no, we well, we don't have any limitation. <laughs> So in 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 the in this first so your uh, size is bigger given this so if I want to yeah, 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 you know, yeah. if I want to store 50, 50 bytes then it's like your secret is small but if I want to store a megabyte it would still work I'm not saying I want to store a megabyte but yeah, yeah. your half of the secret would be much bigger to store something I'm assuming yeah in, in the current version we're using an image but the idea is that uh, that uh, in in the roadmap we have the idea of even uh, introducing videos or audio so and and then in that case you have more more space for for hiding information, but in any case, even in an image, we can use the image for, for hiding gigabytes of information. Okay, because it's a it's a, it's another technique that we implemented that that we can uh, like derive uh, a larger uh, a larger share from the image uh, huh. using iteration, random iterations of the image. Or, or okay. even we can implement secret sharing of the image. You can use instead of one image two, and then we need the combination of the two. But this is something that can be decided by by the user. It's not something yeah. that we so so we don't know if uh, you are uh, if the user is implementing secret sharing or second secret sharing of the image using more than one image uh, because it's done in the other side. The only thing that we know is that, uh, the, that when they combine them, uh, they can prove that they have this combination. So, so what you could do is as Baz says, if you, if you made it just so that you could just put data in, yeah. So you didn't have to do the, the, the seed phrase, you could just enter your own data and do it. You could actually add the image that you've put a secret into first time and then put that image into a second secret. Yeah. You can do it that way, or you can also as uh, um, split the 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 yeah uh, well uh, use more than image for hiding. Uh, you daisy chain them. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Is there is there is there a provision um to recover your oh, secret? <laughs> The second half of the secret. Should LTA Labs go disappear uh, in ten years' That's time and come back? Yeah. Maybe you, you've gone. Is there a way for the user to um, trustlessly get back the other half? Yeah, he, here we have two approaches in the in the roadmap. One is uh, an important thing that is we are also evaluating the use of minima for this to have uh, a distributed storage of the information. We are thinking about how we can also store as a state variable on a coin unspent. Yeah, you yeah. could do that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then, and then we have uh, a place where we can store in a permanent way the, the information and in, in a distributed way. So this will ensure that the information is there. Uh, that the, in that case will be the share that we have. Uh, the second thing is uh, we have also in the roadmap to have a multi-party computation protocol. Uh, Gerard already mentioned this. So uh, for recovering this uh, um, uh, the, the other share, uh, you can use, uh, uh, you can divide or you can distribute this recovery process and it's not depend completely on that. So, mm. and then, uh, and then you can implement a distributed way for recovering the secret. And then if we don't disappear, uh, the others can still recover this. So you can define that, uh, for instance, the wallet provider. So the same user, uh, can particip participate in this recovery without the need of film have you got a Discord server that people can join and talk to you about this? Like, um, I, have you got a Discord server? No, that people can add and yeah. just, you know, yeah. Discord. Let's go. You have one. You, they need to, they, they will find all the info about this and the Discord, etc. in right. secretsvault.xyz. Good name. Okay, secretvault.xyz. <laughs> I think that, lads, beautiful. Um, I'm sorry the demo didn't work. That's totally standard. Um, but we might have to move on, I think. I know, <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate your yeah. tango. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Demos! <laughs> oh, close. Oh. Panny, right. nine minutes. The more time you talk and the less time you get to talk at the end of the call. Is it, you know the jazz, is, it, is it Jazz's turn or is it my so turn? I was going to say, technically it was your bit's turn, but we're going to skip over to Jazz so she can cover her part and then we will see okay. how much time we have left. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Jazz, no, Jazz, we can't hear you either. Oh. 
oh, it's just today's the day. Something. Today is the day. Today's the day. Welcome to the future. You know, if this is Star Trek. Right here, you guys. Okay. You anyway, thank you very much for uh, the demo that almost uh, almost completed itself, and it was very interesting to hear about secrets. And the community seems to have very much liked the idea of the mini app store. I think it's a very cool idea. I think the ability to share a secret without giving away the secret is cool. <laughs> yeah, lots of applications. You know, lots of re lots of people would want to use this. And as you said, you could stick the second half of the secret on chain. Yeah, you know, if you wanted to. And that way, even if LTA Labs, as long as Minimum is running, you can always get back the second half of the secret. And nobody, even if you did that, nobody would know who that was or what it was or what it even referred to, just a bit of hex. So very cool. You know, as an idea, I think it's a, a really good one. Can you hear me now? Um, <clears throat> yes, we can hear you, Jazz. Is it all right? Or is it... A bit low. It's a bit low. Quiet. It's a little quiet. It's fine. Yeah. <sighs> Um, okay. Okay. Don't forget. Never done again. Love you. No, we're just gonna have to say no to jazz. I'm sorry, it's too low. It's too bad. All right. You know what that means? It's over to me. No. <laughs> well, I'll go uh, quick. Okay. Quick so, little bit of uh, uh, housekeeping. Um, <clears throat> as as you know, Minima is running right. a Uniswap V3 incentive program um, at minifarm.minima.global. Uh, where you can earn additional rewards uh, to incentivize you to become a liquidity provider in our main Uniswap pool. Uh, the current incentive ends on the 14th of August. So anyone who is participating should unstake at the end of the, uh, of the period on the 14th and then restake in the new, in the new incentive the, the, that afternoon. Uh, that's all. Yeah. We will be making an announcement to the community closer to that date. So if you want a reminder, you will get one. Um, I'd just like to mention quickly, we are definitely going to go over the allocated time because I would still like to go over some questions, but there's no obligation to stay. If you have to leave before, then feel free to. Um, Jazz, have, have you managed to put your mic up? Is this any volume? better? Yeah, you're yes. better, Jazz. Much better. Is it better? Okay, nice. Yeah. Tell come on. Woo. Okay. Don't okay. know what's happening there. Technical glitch. Um cool. So yeah, I don't think we've had a community call since our last release. So oh, that was quite a big one. And a few big things in there. So we've got new type of node. We've got a mega MMR node, which is uh, similar to archive nodes, but they store all of the unspent coins on Minima. And what this has allowed us to do is quick think. So you, I'm sure some of you have seen already that you can now resync to the chain um, very, very quickly within kind of 30 seconds. And so we're really pleased with that development. And this also allows us to do public wallets, which is going to open up Minima to lots of users who can't run a node. And what we can do is have a public facing wallet and using the mega MMR node, uh, anyone can log in with a secret and that will generate them one minima address that they can receive minima to, native minima, and um, they can use that for sending, receiving, and holding their native minima. So, and um, tokens, guys. And tokens, custom and tokens for minima. Yeah. yeah. So, again, really pleased with that and that will hopefully um, allow iPhone users to branch into the minima ecosystem. And we had a few other releases of mini dApps in the last release, so that's version 1041. Uh, we've got upgrade of mini swap. So this allows you to swap um, ERC20 token USDT to native minima and wrapped minima to native minima. So that is a major upgrade from our previous mini swap version. And you can also, uh, so as before, you can do OTC deals peer to peer, or you can um, place an order through the order book. And so that's been quite an interesting journey. Um, but feel free to have a look at providing liquidity. You make a spread based on your buy and sell price. And um, 
so we've seen some activity go through there and that works quite nicely with the new ETH wallet that we've released. So ETH wallet is, as it says, just um, an Ethereum based wallet for you to hold ETH, USDT, other ERC20s and that allows really nice deposit and withdrawal from Miniswap. So they are independent wallets but they work nicely together and it means you don't need to have MetaMask to use Miniswap and you can do everything within your Minima node so everything's running locally which is pretty so cool. The, the ETH wallet also gives you access to Uniswap without having to go via Uniswap which is very important. If Uniswap I agree. Down, their contract still exists on chain you'd still have access. You don't need to go anywhere else. All you need is a minimum node. <laughs> yep, that's it. And then we've got the safe. So that allows you to send your native minima to a new seed phrase if you want to kind of segregate them and effectively have um, cold storage for, your, for the bulk of your minima coins. And we also had the kind of shout out proof of concept go out. So this is... Um, kind of on-chain forum type chat app. So similar to Bitcoin talk, I think we should have called it Minima talk. And um, oh. messages that you, <laughs> <Now> <laughs> messages, <tell> me. that, <laughs> messages that you send um, in shout out get sent across the network uh, via a transaction. And so everybody on the network sees the message. And you can post messages in different categories. And so it's quite a nice way to have conversations with everybody in, on the network without having to have them as a Maxima contact. So um, that was a major upgrade. And then lots of nice little um, upgrades here and there, such as user icons and folders for the mini hub, etc. So that's all from the release side of things. And another exciting announcement is that our grants portal is now up and live. And you can find it at build.minima.global. And here we are looking for innovative applications that are built on Minima. And we've got three types of categories. So you can have a kind of ecosystem type category, which is um, mini dApps that are helping to develop the minima utility and encourage node growth. And then we have developer tools. So if you um, have, if you develop a tool that enables developers to build more quickly on minima, then we are more than happy to support that. And also deep in solutions. So if you come with a um, hardware solution that's embedding Minima on the device, then we're also looking for those types of projects. And everyone will have to go through our kind of Kickstarter grant for the first stage and growth grants will be uh, rewarded on top of that potentially. 